Hello everyone, the Teen Engineer here, and today I would like to show you how to remove a virus completely from your Windows 10 operating system. And this requires no software needed, free. Like, you don't even need anything. You don't even need the Wi-Fi connection. Alright, so once you think you have downloaded the malware, you would like to check it on the, on the uh, file explorer. So you check its properties and stuff like that. So let's just say there's a car here. And then it's just properties. So it's a PNG file, you know. And uh, has a bunch of details like that. And once you think that this might be a malware because it's acting weird and uh, your, you know, your machine is acting weird. So what you would want to do is you want to you want to delete it, okay? So delete. And then you would want to empty the recycle bin. So once you, you once you've emptied the recycle recycle bin, this actually won't do anything if you only empty it and you think it's finished. It's not because the malware uses uses persistence. So it's it's persistent. So it's always it always wants to stay on your computer. If you remove it from the recycle bin, it won't do anything. So you have to go even further than that. So now what you would like to do is go to the registry editor. It's an application that everybody has on their Windows machine. So here it is. And I'd just like to close these. Okay. All right. So here in the registry editor you can find the things that runs every time your machine boots up or your machine restarts every time it restarts there will be certain certain files that it will have to execute every time and malware uses this feature to as to every time your computer boots up it wants to run its exe file so that's why if you delete the exe file and don't do this, don't do what I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to show you, it will not work because it will just put it back at the same place or to a place you, you didn't see before, like in the, let's say in a TMP folder or something like that. So here is where the real uh, malware removing happens, I guess. So you want to go to current user and then software and then Microsoft. And then, let's see what it is. Windows, current version. Okay. And you would like to go to run. And so here are the files that run every time your machine boots up or your machine restarts or, or anything really. So obviously there is some, you know, files like Chrome, it wants to restart. However, it has a weird name actually. It just feels not. Let's see. Okay, so you can see the you can modify it and stuff. See whatever. Okay. And and you have Dashlane, you have this Adobe um cloud experience, whatever. And then you have this test folder now. I, I put this test folder in here to show you how it would look like and to show you how it would look like. So you can see I put the name test, I put the type registry, I put the data to pointing to a file that does not exist. But for real, in real life, the malware would be pointing to the malware exe file. So I'm going to show you how hackers actually do it. And so if you have a malware like that, you see suspicious, you just want to delete it. That's it. That should be good now. It wouldn't pop up again here and it would not run anymore. And the 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 the, uh, the hacker would lose full control over your computer, which they usually which they have when when you run the exe file. So, so now that you deleted that, that should be good now. So I'm going to show you how they do it now, just if you're interested, you know. I'm going to show you how they do it. So they go in the CMD. They don't really go, but like they can just run it from the CMD without using knowing from the command prompt. And they run this specific command 
that tells the computer to put another item in the registry editor in the run so that it runs their malware so yeah so obviously <laughs> don't i mean yeah so i'm just this is only for educational purposes obviously i'm just trying to show you guys so this is the specific file they run so it's reg actually i already have it in oh okay reg add and then they have the um the directory so software backslash microsoft backslash windows backslash current version and you can see it's the same uh, directory here so backslash current version backslash run backslash oh no that's it <laughs> okay <laughs> And then here, you want, we would like to put a forward slash V, and this specifies the name. So I'm just going to put like ABC123456. And then you would like forward slash T, and this will be the type. So you would like to put it as reg underscore SZ, like the other ones, you know, like the other ones. So, and then you would like to put forward slash D, and then put quotation marks, and that will be pointing to the file path to the malware path but uh but um yeah we're not putting malware right now <laughs> only for educational purposes guys so see that test.exe and i don't really have a, a file maybe i should actually i'm just gonna you know take a random file or whatever um See a bunch of pictures here. Car that I drew, I think, like two years ago. <laughs> okay, this PC. And then I point to computer and sh here. So I'm gonna paste here. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm just gonna. I said paste, not copy. Let's copy this folder. Um, okay, well, I'm already administrator, so I just want to make sure that I got the right picture. So, copy, then that, paste. All right, continue. Okay, so we can see it's a car. Let's open it up. Taking time to load. Is there nothing or nothing? Oh, there is something. Yeah, so that's my car, guys. <laughs> my dream car. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, and so we would like to point to it. So it's called realcar.png. Okay, so that should be good. So run that so and then it says operation completed successfully so then you would like to go back refresh that so okay and we can see that abc123456 has been added so abc123456 registry as sz and then you can see real card png and so yeah so now it's gonna every time the computer boots up or opens it turns on and um, it's gonna run this this uh this file so it's not gonna open the the it's not gonna open the image because it's it's it just it's supposed to run exes as you can see it's all exes here so yeah that should be it so now i want to delete it so i'm just gonna Oh, you can modify the binary data. Whatever that means. Um, <laughs> okay, so you can delete it. Deleting system which is you can explain system inventory. You want? Yes. Cool. So, also you can see here I can delete Chrome. So, Google slash Chrome slash application. So, let's go there. I want to delete Chrome now. Google slash. Oh, no, it's. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Program files x86. Let's see what that is. 
Here it is. And then Google. And then Chrome. Application. I don't know what is that. But that's cool, I guess. Um, Chrome proxy, new Chrome. And so you see it's pointing to this folder, uh, to this file right here. The registry editor is pointing to this, this Chrome right here. So if I would like to delete it, Chrome wouldn't run anymore. So, what else could I show you guys? Um, I could show you more of my cars, you know. <laughs> yeah, it does in GIMP actually. Let me see what time. Properties. March 22nd, 2018. That was like two years ago. More. More than two years ago. Cool. Okay. So that's chill, I guess, you know. That's it, you know. That's how you delete. Um, that's how you delete viruses from your computer, you know. So that's all, guys. Um, so this was the way to delete the viruses off your computer. No software needed. Uh, free, you know, like that, you know, no software. Um, yeah, so give me a thumbs up, give me a like, you know, give me a sub, you know. All that good stuff. <laughs> Alright, bye. Oh, crap. <laughs>